for most of us, we can very clearly remember a time when we were studying and we knew what the hell was going on, <laughs> right? Um, we can remember how it felt to, to know what was going on, to be prepared for an exam, to, to kind of go, okay, I'm, I'm good. You know, I know, I know that I'm prepared. I know what I'm doing. So I think most of us can remember how it feels to be properly prepared for an exam. And it's been a very long time since we've had that feeling. <laughs> it's been a very long time since we've had that feeling. And there's part of our studying and part of the stress that we have is the anxiety that we're not getting back to that level of, of, of okayness, you know, um, you know, that we're not, we're kind of worried that we're, we know what it feels like to be in control and we lost control a long time ago and we can't quite seem to get it back. So a lot of the challenges that I find we're, we're facing is there's, there's this constant mental pull that I should be feeling like that. If I was doing my prep properly, properly I would be feeling like that. If I was getting closer to being prepared for the exam, then I would be feeling like that. Um, I know how it feels and I can't feel that way. And that increases the stress level. Does that make sense to you guys? So that means that what's, what's happening is that there's an expectation gap, you know, that you come out of every session, you come out of your tests, you come out of questions you've done, you've come out of stuff and you're just, you feel like you're treading water because mentally you're like, that's what I should be. If I was getting closer to that feeling, then, um, then I would know that I'm on track. But the fact that I never seem to be able to get there, <laughs> you know, um, means that I don't have confidence. My anxiety levels are higher. As you say, like, you know, I am nervous. I'm, I never feel prepared. I don't know what's going on. And that increases our stress levels. So I think it's really important to understand that um, part of your brain and part of your expectation, you're working towards something um, based on how you used to feel. The first thing that I want to say about that is can you, can you understand when I talk about how your feelings impact your studying, this is the type of thing that I'm saying. It's a very direct impact because you're constantly going, I need to feel like that again. If I feel in control and if I feel like I know my stuff and if I feel comfortable with my work, then I'll be okay. So we, we do have a tendency to stick to feelings because we're like, I remember what it felt like to, to know my stuff and then I knew that I'd be okay in the exams. And feeling like I knew my stuff and passing, we're very closely connected. So we've connected these two and go, if I feel that way, then I'll pass. Therefore, if I don't feel that way, I don't think I'm going to pass. The, the challenge that we have is that the exams that you're facing and the environment that you're in look nothing like the environment that you were in. And I think this is the biggest shift that, that we're still not aware of. We kind of go, okay, it's the same environment and it's just harder you know, and that's our expectation is it's the same situation, it's the same environment, but this is just harder. So therefore, the same rules apply, you know, everything's the same, but this is just more difficult. Whereas in reality, the exams that you're writing and the stuff that you're facing, you've been taken completely off of that field entirely. You're not playing that game anymore and you've been dumped on a different field, but you're still trying to play by old rules. So you're on a completely new field with new assessments, new components, new concepts, new understandings of what we're looking for, and you're still trying to play by old rules. So you're, you're in a totally new space with totally different types of assessments, but you're still measuring it against old assessments. And I think we, we feel that because when you look at the types of questions you're doing, it doesn't, it doesn't match or in any way kind of you know match or look similar to the types of stuff that you did in the past like when I was doing my degree stuff did not look like this <laughs> where did it all go wrong you know like where did it all happen so the assessments and stuff they want from you is so vastly different from the types of things that they wanted from you and it's not about the levels it's about your it's about the professional outcomes. It's almost like saying back in the day, you were required to calculate deferred tax. And these days you're required to paint a picture about what deferred tax is. So yeah, it's still deferred tax, 
it's still different text, but the game's not the same, right? Being able to calculate it does not mean that you're able to paint it. And now all of a sudden, you know, in the past, you needed to be able to use a calculator and follow formats. And now all of a sudden, you're not able to pass a different text question unless you're actually able to paint. Stupid example, but does that make sense? That's how different what you're doing is. And that's where a lot of our nerves come from is that we're trying to get back there, but the exams don't look like that. The world doesn't look like that anymore. The assessments are completely different, which means that the way that we use our knowledge needs to change. Um, and we're never going to get back there because the exams are very specifically designed to assess your ability to manipulate that information, the knowledge that you have, use it in different aspects, et cetera, et cetera. And um, the, the very intention is that you should not um, you should not be able to copy and paste anything you've ever done in the past because every client that sits in front of you has a different situation, has different risks, has a different business, has different details. And therefore, every single client that sits in front of you is going to have a completely different situation that you need to assess one by one. So just because you're prepared for client number one does not mean that you're going to be prepared for client number two. They're going to want different things. And that's what the assessment is. So a lot of our nerves and our anxiety is about feeling like we should go back there. We should be feeling that way. If I was feeling that way, then I, I would know that I was on the right track. But because I'm not feeling that way, I'm not on the right track. The reality is that the anxiety, the nerves, the uncertainty is a part of the journey. It is not, you are not uncertain because you don't know your stuff. You are not uncertain because you're a bad student. You're not uncertain because um, you know, because you're not going to pass. You're uncertain because that's the nature of the game. They've changed the game from do five questions and question number six is pretty much going to look like one to five. So like you, you can do a hundred questions and you're still never going to, you're still never going to know what's happening because we're going to go out of our way to make sure that you're facing different challenges all the time because I want to see what you're able to do with stuff. In the past, you could, to some extent, you could kind of copy and paste your, your solution. So you built nice little databases of knowledge, you know, little filing cabinets of like all the stuff that you need to know. And now they're going like, stuff your filing cabinets. I want to know that you're able to use tools and that you're able to build stuff like right here, right now for something you've never seen before. So the nature of the assessment is very different. Um, and because our personality isn't designed like that, we find that very stressful. Someone, again, I keep using the same examples because like, you know, I need to find more people, but someone like, um, you know, people like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Gary Vee, these types of people, they love new problems. You know, they love the new stuff. Give me something I haven't seen before. Like, give me something I don't know so that I can like really work at it and challenge it and something that other people don't know and aren't able to do and new stuff. They find that really exciting. So what we see as uncertain and terrifying and like, this means that I don't know my stuff and this means that, you know, I'm going to fail. We see that as uncomfortable. There are people out there who find that challenging and exciting and like, that's the stuff that's going to change the world is the stuff that we haven't seen before is the stuff that we don't know, you know, um, because like, you know, I want to get my fingers in there and I want to solve it. Like who wants to solve a problem that's already been solved? Like if you already know the answer to that and you can copy and paste it somewhere else, like where's the excitement in that? Like where's the joy in that? You and I, our personalities do not work like that. <laughs> we want to know that we know the answer. Yeah. We want to know that we are aware of the answer.